Hi, I'm Chave. Hi, I'm Candice. Okay. And we'll be talking about um, the module eight analytics module and how we correlated data from um, three, well, from the data set that we were provided on the Excel sheet, which were, we selected three factors, um, three domains, and we compared those to um, one outcome, correlated it to one outcome. So this is the data set Excel sheet. And um, one important thing to note is if you are trying to um, get this tab, the data analysis tab, which is not always there, to get the regression function and the correlate function, you can go to help, type in add-ins, go to Excel add-ins and click this, hit OK, and it, this will appear if it's not already there for you. So now I'm going to go back to Candace and she's going to explain everything else that we did in this module. Okay. All right. Um, let me go back right here. Okay, so in uh, our correlation, we compared, um, we compared, let me go back right here. We compared number of facilities along with, um, with staff and we compared um, where number of facilities staff and then we compare that to alcohol to alcohol driven deaths so we did those comparisons so we did l m n and o all right so for the correlation um so chave already showed us how to add the data analysis if we don't see it and data analysis is right here so for the correlation what we did was we clicked data analysis, we went to, we scroll to correlation, click OK, and then we did, we basically highlighted from here all the way down to where we, to um, Alabama. We, we did um, Alabama and we did Alaska. So we went all the way down and then it gave us a number and this is the number that we had for the correlation. However, with our correlation, it was under 0.25. And when um, the correlation is under 0.25 or less than 0.25, um, there is no correlation. But if it was above, then there would be a correlation there, but we didn't have any correlation. Now we're gonna move on to doing regression. And with regression, we have to we have to go back to data analysis, and then we click we find regression. Click OK. Okay. So for the Y range, we're going to put um, the outcome, which is our alcohol. Um, I did say that we used Alabama and Alaska, but for some reason, when we go above a certain limit it showed us an error function so we only did alabama so we we just highlighted all of all all the way to alabama which was like till 68 and then for the x value we did l m and n to correlate these factors and then we got this we got regression we got our regression right here so the p value shows that if there's a p-value of less than 0 0.5, there's there's a true chance of a relationship. So with uninsured, that was less than 0 0.5. And with, um, which one is this again? This one here. And for number of facilities, there's under, there were under, both of them were less than point, 0.5. 
So there's true correlation, there's true relationship right here. So then we went a little bit further and then we compared these two in, in the regression. So we went again, did another regression with only uninsured and number of facilities, meaning that their p-values were less than 0.5. And then we went to regression two, and all we did was we went back to the data sheet, went to data analysis, went to regression, click OK, and then the Y value was the outcome, which is the alcohol driven death, and the X value was um, um, insured and facilities. And then we just do these two instead of doing all three. When we did that, then our regression was uh, both of them were under less than 0.5. So that shows true relationship between these two, um, two, two factors. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Bye.